Unlimited energy. No. Yes. All characters. Yes. Why am I starting... <laughs> with the cheat menu. What the f***? Let's start with Ants Racing. Alright, so this is, uh, you, you, oh. It wouldn't be a shitty game. Oh my god! Does this look fun to anyone within the first five seconds? If not, your answer... If your answer is no, then you are correct. <laughs> it's, it's really, really not good. It was on 15% volume. This is kind of like RC Pro-Am, except this is actually somehow worse than that. What? Oh. Imagine every time you got crashed into in Mario Kart, the music stops. Controls are really touchy. I, I mean, I don't really have to touch on a shovelware game like this and tell you how bad it is, but I'm gonna do that anyway, because when you apply the smallest amount of pressure, your character just f***ing goes in, in whatever direction. I don't- I don't- I don't- I don't- oh, I, guys, I don't know if I'm going the right way. Holy sh I was going the wrong way that whole time. Now, the Game Boy Advance ha has its own ants racing. It's pretty much the same thing. Just, oh god, it's 3D. Oh my god, here we go again. I, I like how the level just pops up two feet in front of your face. That's quality gaming. Gives me definitely enough time to react. Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. You traverse the meadows and forests, but be careful because you can, you can only move up. If, you, if there are enemies behind you, you're f***ed. Some people in chat are saying they had this when they were younger. I mean, Toy Story was, like, it kind of strikes me as the type of property where you could, like, play around with toys being alive. But instead, nah, I'm just in a farm. What is that? That's, is that it? I don't know what the f*** that is. How does he hold up his body with those legs like that? Hey there, I'm Billy Beard. Today we, we're gonna go fishing. Howdy, Daisy was just saying she would love some bass. Base fish. <laughs> it's it's fucking whack a mole. Redneck whack a mole. Awesome. That's one of the best screens I've ever seen. That's a reward screen. That's your victory screen. When you succeed, you, you get to see this. Okay, I have a question. Why is this guy massive? Really though, why look why is he so much bigger than my character? What? Was that something strange that was happening? Oh look, lobster. Hey, maybe lobsters are another theme of today's stream. What? This is- this is a minigame? What- what- wait, 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 what's the point of this? Is it to keep the-, the is it to keep the water clean? Or am I like- f like fishing for soda? There- there's gonna be casualties. You, you- you really- you can't- aren't- you aren't fast enough to get them all. Thought Soda Drinker Pro was... the ultimate soda experience. No, not anymore. So here's a good way to play this minigame. Yes, a couch! Oh, thank god, I need that. <laughs> That's exact. I don't need a fish. I need fish to sell so I can get a couch. The annoying thing was created by Eric... Win something or other. Wait a minute, wait, 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 the game has acknowledged how annoying it is? So, what was the whole appeal of Crazy Frog? The fact that he's annoying and he makes a lot of annoying sounds? Well, I hate to say it, but I'm not getting any of those annoying sounds right now. And it's just a generic Mario Kart super circuit. It's just a shitty ripoff of that. With no style, no grace, just a funny face and a butt. Who bought this? Who fing bought this game? Why would you settle for this? Mom, I love that crazy frog fella. He's great. I love him. All right, dear. I've got you the crazy frog game for Christmas. It was on sale for 20 quid. <laughs> 20 quid down at LMB. Oh, that's great, Matt. Does he make the crazy noises? Oh, I don't know, dear. Uh, but it was it was 20 quid. Oh, it's got crazy elk in it. Oh, it's got uh, Toro the Bull and Mafia Squid. The greatest characters of all time. Let's try Big Mother Truckers on for size and see if it's any worse. Look at that JPEG quality. Yep, here we got some ribbon guitar. I don't- I f***ing- why is everyone Jackson? Oh no, is there an- is there an inbreeding joke in this? Earl Jackson? <laughs> Earl's a Jackson? Rock is Jackson? <laughs> I gotta go with this motherfucker. he looks like some kind of Zodiac killer. Oh, 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 oh no! Oh god, it's- it's the worst one yet! I can tell right away, look at these frame rates! Yeah, 
Yeah, let's make the attempt of a 3D game with 3D models on the Game Boy Advance. The trade-off, of course, is that you get a full delicious three frames a second. Thank God we get the full redneck experience in the music. Look at all these... Look at all these... <laughs> look at all these bikers! Look, 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 they're dying! Crash into as many bikers as you can. Uh-oh, police is here. Hey, Cletus, you wanna make a game for the Game Boy Advance? Yeah, let's make it so that when you hear the police, stay louder than the song. Cool, uh, oh man, look at those backgrounds, just, just tearing, ripping and tearing. So you gotta be pretty desperate for games. If you have, if you have to pick this one up. Hey, come to the garage! We got some lobsters on the wall if you want some, shovel some fucking down your throat. Hey, you wanna hear some cool music? Alright, I'm just skipping ahead. I don't really care about the dialogue. I want to just see what the... What's this? I don't know what this move is. is, is this move is, is die? When you're making a Game Boy game, you only have two buttons to work with, aside from select and start, right? Well, one of your buttons is a punch button. The other one is... Just fall flat down on your ass. Okay, I'm punching ghosts. Did Buff... I don't know if Buffy ever actually punched ghosts. I can make a joke. About the, uh, the the song Thriller, right about now, I can say that that's MJ. Buffy looks how I feel right now. Eminem's Minnie's Madness. Unfortunately, the blue Eminem watches me sleep at night, and I definitely get some like war flashbacks when I see the blue Eminem. That said, I plan to make this happen. Why did why do Eminem's games keep coming out? <laughs> they need to stop every single time I play one of these fucking games. It's the same story. It plays like shit. This one, however, plays really much like shit. I really do think, though, that M&M's was just like, we need a new game every year. I don't care what it is. We, we just, we need to promote our products. No one actually likes M&M's. No one's a fan of M&M as character. So, they're basically just another way to advertise. Oh, I'm sorry, I hurt someone's feelings. There are people that like M&M's. Oh god. Really? You like M&M's? You like the characters? Do you like the Choco Bell Chihuahua as well? Do you like Ronald and McDonald and his adventures with his friends? This game, by the way, is incredibly confusing. And I'm trapped down here as far as I can tell. Crates hurt me. They, I don't know why, but here, look, let's just- let's just end it. Let them crack my candy shell. This game is... atrocious. Microsoft Entertainment Pack. Um, look at this, it's Ski Free on the Game Boy Color. Wow, that's loud. Do you like the games that come bundled free with Windows? Well, we're selling them now for the Game Boy, uh... The Game Boy Color, and they're worse than ever before. You guys down for a rousing game of Minesweeper? <laughs> of course, I lose immediately. What a f***ing shock. Here, let's do it. Alright. Wow, I have no luck. I don't know what Life Genesis is. I don't remember this one. I, I remember digging through Windows 95 for all the free games that came with it, and this was not part of that series. It's it's 3D tic-tac-toe. It just it took me a minute to figure out what the f*** was happening. Usually Game Boy versions of bigger budget games are predictably garbage. You can't squeeze that much fun from a game that's intrinsically super different. Wow. That's this right now. This- this whole experience is that. Uh, it's exactly what I thought it would look like. Yeah, it's- it's not 3D. Yeah, it's just another watered-down version. Like, when Torok came out, they had, like, a Game Boy Torok, and it was pretty much top-down like this. Yeah, there was always this, like, hype to capitalize on, uh, that's not the right word, but there was this push to capitalize on the Game Boy. Look at this technology. Yeah, technology. Yeah, this was a whole thing. This was a whole thing. And Mickey Speedway, from what I understand, I never played it, but it was kind of like mediocre, but it was... It was okay. Again, it's that RC Pro-Am style of, of gameplay. This is better than the, the Ants Racing game, by far. At least I can see what the f*** I'm doing. But, uh, you know. You play one game like this, you played all of them. Becky. Linda. <laughs> And thus a new meme was born. I don't understand these characters. It's- it's two human characters. And then the third character you can choose is an alien named Pepe. 
Pee-wee. <laughs> oh, Peter! <laughs> Why is Peter- Why is Peter Neo from The Matrix? What the f*** is this game? Alright, we gotta be Pepe, cause alien. Uh, yeah, the tactile dart experience. Why does Pepe have a human hand? I didn't even consider that. Holy sh! Thank you for that. Somehow, I that that detail escapes me. I chose an alien, and he's got a human, perfectly normal human. Ha Maybe he's in disguise. Maybe he's only in his alien form at home. But when he goes out to play darts, it, since he's such a beast at darts, he has to like dress like a person. Maybe this is a movie waiting to happen. Just called Pepe, the feel-good hit of 1996. He's a dart champion, but he's ostracized because the humans wouldn't accept an alien into their dart community. His whole life, he's been- he's been scorned. Also, he gets revealed for being, um, an alien, but- but he falls in love with a perfectly wonderful, beautiful female cattle. And, um, she accepts him for who he is. Super off-road. Oh, why did you give me so many shitty racing games? I mean, it, it- they're all the same. You know what? I take that back. This is the worst one yet. I don't even need to play this for more than a second. Look at that slowdown. I remember getting some, like, sh like shitty games from family who just thought every game had to be good because it was game. You know, game equals good. He'll love it. I was one of those, you know, people that had to fucking, like, hold the Game Boy up in the back of the car so that the lights from the car behind me would light the screen so I could maybe see what was happening. Hello, this is Vine Sauce. Okay, so here's what you will do, Vin. Go to a race. First option, press start and press B to retire. You will listen listen to something very special, okay? Whoa, it's a Game Boy Color game and it's attempting 3D. So, I mean, we've seen an assortment of shitty racing games today. We've seen all kinds of styles for how a racing game could be done on the Game Boy Color, on the Game Boy Advance, um, and even the, the original Game Boy. And, um, this is- this is an example of what not to do. Cause the Game Boy Color does not have capabilities of this kind. I feel like this stream was educational. We've learned a little something. I didn't expect to learn anything, but we've learned the different styles of racing games, and- and for me, that makes the stream worth it. More you know. We've learned today, everyone. Look at that- oh my god, look at that terrible technology. Oh my god. That's, uh, that's pretty amazing, I gotta say. I have a big dopey grin on my face now. I did not expect that at all. That was- okay, you've redeemed the collection. That was really, really interesting. Cool. Oh, fart. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess... Farts are funny. Yeah, I agree with Captain Southbird, who says, This game makes light of the constant suffering of the North Pole elves. We don't know what they go through. You know, why Why are we diminishing their suffering? Here, let's, let's play a song for them. How many more times? How many more times? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can listen to this whole song and get around copyright claim. Because we're playing it at double speed. Hey, hang on a second. Hang on. I just realized that my songs are also on YouTube. Let's see what Atom Bomb sounds like at double the speed. Oh, much better because it's over quicker. <laughs> it's like almost old timey. <laughs> so, hang on a second. <laughs> okay, that's why I love David Bowie. He was so versatile vocally. He could do anything.
All right, Sh Shrek is about to fucking squash this man's skull like a watermelon. Like this, this photo was taken literally seconds before a horrendous sight. Shrek had to flee. Donkey was almost accused. He was acquitted, but you know this this. Shit, that's scary. That, that dude, that dude died. He had a family. 